Republicans tearing into Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas and telling him it's time to step down. This comes after weeks, uh, just weeks after the head of the Border Patrol testified that the administration did not have operational control of the southern border. Republican senators unleashing on the secretary. Let, let me be clear. Number one, we are intensely focused on securing the border. It appears to me to be something that is perhaps an intentional effort to obfuscate the real problem, to hide the absolute humanitarian and legal disaster. You haven't been fired. You should be fired. We've seen nothing but death and destruction as a result. If you had integrity, you would resign. And I will tell you, the men and women of the Border Patrol, they've never had a political leader undermine them. They despise you, Mr. Secretary, because you're willing to let children be raped to follow political orders. Now, Judge, do you think that was that was hyperbole? Was just, I mean, like, we, I think we all agree Mayorkas is a complete idiot, and he should go, but uh, uh, do, you, do you think what? I just, I just wouldn't say he's a complete idiot and should go. Just so you said we all. Oh, he is an idiot. Pardon? I was, no, I'm, Jessica, I am speaking for you. Jessica said to me in the green room <laughs> that Mayorkas is a complete idiot, but um, yeah. saying that he would let children get raped, probably a little too far. Oh, uh, well, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the facts. I yeah. think he is an evil idiot. Mm. I think that he is intentionally not recognizing that children are being raped. Many children are being put on birth control by their parents as they make the trip. There are rape trees. I've seen the panties hanging from them. I've gone to the border at least four times. I know what's going on from the ranchers, from the Border Patrol. No, I don't think that was hyperbole. Mm -hmm. I think that what is happening where we allow this, this, this influx, many children without their parents, these kids have been raped. We already have, what is it now, 800 uh, immigrants who, who are just dead. They're, they, they're dead within the area of the United States. Nobody seems to care about them. Americans are dying. No one seems to care about them either. We just talked about Joe Fentanyl, Joe Fentanyl, Joe Biden. Joe Fentanyl's yeah, better. That's what, yeah, <laughs> laughing about the mother who lost two of her sons and saying, oh, it was political. You know, it was the other guy who's, who's at fault. No, I don't think that's hyperbole. I think this guy ought to go. He's evil. He is allowing um, all kinds of damage to this nation and not protecting it. I, it's treasonous. Can I ask a question? Um, sure. What is a rape tree? A rape tree is when you take the panties of the victim and you hang them from the tree so they know how many women have been raped by you. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Well, Jesse, I want to ask you about the fact that uh, Trump had been impeached twice, once as COVID was taking off, under the assumption that he wasn't going to be impeached anyway or he wasn't going anywhere. Why, don't, why isn't Mayorkas being impeached? I had just asked Jillian the same question. She says they don't have the votes. I guess you need two thirds, mm. but put it out there anyway. Yes. Just scar the guy. Why not waste the time that they wasted with everybody else? And it won't even be as nearly as long as the Trump impeachment was. Yeah. Which one? I don't remember. Mm. A real journalist would ask the question, is Mayorkas in business with the drug cartels? Because he has made the drug cartels richer than they've ever been. He is mm. the drug cartel employee of the year. Mm. You know, they make more money from human trafficking than from cocaine. And what has he done with human trafficking? It's exploded under his watch. Is the guy have a fetish for getting his butt kicked in public? <laughs> Every hearing, he knows what's coming. He knows Cruz is going to kill him. And he comes to the hearing totally unprepared. He has no idea what statistics. He has sure how many he people? How many people? Jesse, oh, we're going to have to get... He's not going to admit it. He knows every answer to every question. Okay, well, I thought he was stupider than that. And he doesn't know what the bracelets are. Every Fox viewer knows the bracelets. We've covered it a thousand times. If you don't know that, you can't say you care. I just want to know where the media is. You have rape trees. You have a detention center that incinerated migrants the other day. You have fentanyl deaths. You have total chaos. They don't cover it. But the minute a Republican gets into office, they're going to start covering some migrant that is missing a blanket. I and mean, that's the best part about losing elections. You get to see what the media covers that they covered up before. Exactly. You know, Jillian, did, they, did he yet apologize for the whipgate where he m maligned his own employees saying that they were whipping migrants? I don't think that's happened yet. Uh, the Mayorkas, you mean? Yes. DHS or the administration has mm -hmm. not acknowledged the findings yeah. of the investigation. Amazing. Um, How convenient. It is a catch-22 now for the Biden administration in terms of trying to 
do anything to ameliorate this crisis mm -hmm. because the numbers have been so high, historically high for two years, the only options available to them now, policy-wise, to try and make a dent are fairly extreme. They run the gamut of things like reconsidering family detentions, which to the Democrats is like anathema. I mean, it's something that they hammered Trump over for four years. They can't do That's what Trump now, did, even if it works. Well, right. but doing something, doing anything less than that is mm -hmm. not going to improve the situation. Yeah. So if Biden acts, it's a political death knell. If he doesn't, um, the numbers continue to climb. Mm. There's no great options anymore. Last word, Jessica, make it valuable. I think it's good that people who even know that they're being set up to be criticized like this continue to show up. To your point, where you say he just keeps coming back. I think it's important that the people who serve in our administration who are in charge of these very important aspects of our country are available um, well, yeah, I'm to not do saying this. don't show up. I'm, I'm not saying fighting show you. up prepared. I, he was prepared, but not for that hearing. He doesn't That's know the specific. bracelets? Come on. He was prepared for lunch. No. <laughs> Listen, each administration has a different story that they want to tell about what's going on at the border. The Trump administration had a different story than the Obama administration wanted to tell and the Bush administration. And that's just how it works, unfortunately. But with this particular issue, what makes it different than a lot of other ones is that it's life or death, mm -hmm. right? It's life or death for Americans and it's life or death for the Mexicans and everyone who's coming from everywhere else. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.